Welcome back everybody. Today I have another unboxing for you and a little review. And as you can see, this is Alien's Power Loader P5000 from the movie Aliens. Um, the the uh, loader is scaled to fit a NECA's Ripley. So it's sized accordingly. So I cannot wait to check it all out and uh, take it out of the box and see what it's all about. Let's look at the box first. Okay, let's look at the packaging, the picture from the side view and on the back. You have little info. You can freeze it and read it. Nice picture of Ripley inside the power loader. Also a picture here of the toy itself. Uh, on the top you see a picture from the battle between a queen and a Ripley. On the bottom just uh, little credits and aliens. Okay. So, and I would like to mention if you already have a queen, which is huge over here, it also scales perfectly. So, but let's take the queen away because this is re review for the loader. So, let's open the packaging. And you can see it's in a clamshell, like so. We have some extra parts over here. And this is extra hands for Ripley. The, uh, I guess these are uh, to fit better the joysticks. And these are some parts of the loader. Uh, we'll see what are these for. Uh, there is no uh, manual, so I'm gonna have to figure all that out by myself. <laughs> so let's see. And it looks really, really nice in person. It's very nicely weathered uh, let's let's see okay so all right got to be very careful i don't want to damage anything as this is fresh brand new just got it today actually in the mail so you have these uh, uh, this Y is opening up and down nicely on the pistons and it seems like the rails right here are metal same thing on the other side uh, let's see okay so let's position the legs and I have to say joints are nice and stiff so it should be fairly easy to pose it okay these pistons are plastic you can see some detailing nicely on the side very nicely detailed the pistons on the back very nice uh, rubber hoses so let's see if I can position all that somehow make a clear over here okay and let's see if we can position these angle as well uh, it doesn't oh yeah these are actually on a ratchet so that's very nice oh yeah 
very stiff which is very good for positioning and it's very cool okay let's see in the back all right uh, we have some wiring for the uh, cutter right here so that's very nice that's the one that uh, Ripley actually used to repel a queen when she was face to face with Ripley so that's very nice uh, let's see these joysticks if they move yes they do slide they slide nicely up and down so that's very good for a articulation okay let's see can we uh, like I said it's it's very nice it's new you can rotate these hands I mean these over here you can position them there on a ratchet as well so that's very nice and let's see we have some pistons right here working pistons that's very nice okay let's see all this clump of the hoses right here uh, lots of lots of hoses so that's very nice all right and let's see if i can position the this a little better okay and we have some more articulation over here as well I hope you can see it nicely so let me put this box away I think it's blocking the view okay so here we go that's very nice I mean very very nice now let's see I see there's some joints right here, so I'm guessing a little bit of netting on the top as a precaution for the operator. I'm guessing you're... oh yeah, so that's how you raise it up. Okay, let me reposition the camera. So, as you can see guys, you can put the replay inside and then you just close it just like in movie. So that's very nice now how do we put replay in i'm guessing this should come apart oh yeah there we go that's nice and soft rubber right here so and let's see if we can take this apart oh yes we can awesome that's just beautiful if you ask me that's outstanding so um let's see let me oh i think that these parts are some kind of a antennas or something for the back so let me put this tape on the side and because i saw two slot holes two slots in the back yeah right here so let's just slide this one up in there and the other one as well i believe that's how it's supposed to be let me look at the packaging yes that's where they belong all right so we can still not much so you might take them out when you plan to put the replay in so let's take them out let's leave them out and i am going to remove the replay from the packaging and come back to you all right so here is replay inside the loader so as you can see it's just beautiful um the hardest part i have to say to put this uh, figure replay inside a loader would be the 
uh, replacement uh, wrists, the replacement hands. Um, the best way to do it, I found out that is uh, remove the first, uh, the originals that come with Ripley and um, put the Ripley inside and then um, also uh, separately just hands themselves attached to the joysticks and when you have a Ripley inside and a wrist and a hands on the joysticks then you uh, position Ripley, position your joysticks and uh, reassemble you know connect the wrists the hands with the wrists uh, of Ripley that's the easiest uh, part I found out uh, you know to assemble it all um, so as you can see it's just beautiful beautiful uh, um, figure the loader and the replay inside is just uh, the replay gives it definitely a life and uh, if you have queen uh, Neca's queen that just or any other queen that would uh, scale nicely with this uh, I have a Neca it's just a uh, beautiful beautiful uh, set and I also got just to mention I also got the bishop uh, from the final uh, battle so it's gonna make just a beautiful diorama beautiful um, set on my display case where uh, where uh, Ripley is battling the Queen with Bishop lying on the floor next to them just observing uh, um, Ripley the cake Queen's ass <laughs> basically uh, so yeah it's it's just beautiful um, like I said it has plenty of articulation you have uh, the shoulders right here they, they're in swivel and then ball I mean this double swivel here then a swivel there a ratcheting joints right here right there rotating right here you can rotate it any way you want uh, these rays are metal and the vise is just nicely sliding up and down um, ankles on the uh, they don't swivel side to side let me reposition the camera for you uh, Ankles don't repos uh, they don't they don't swivel from side to side. I don't believe they do. I mean, I tried, but no, no, they don't. Not, not to my knowledge. No, and if they do, it's very hard. But uh, I don't think they do. But uh, you have ankle right here, which is ratcheting. Then you have the knee. Uh, all the pistons are working, and that's a very nice touch. Lots of hoses. <laughs> These are uh, soft rubber, so yeah, definitely very very nice. Uh, I see already that some of the hoses, for some reason, look a uh, little pinched or something I'm not sure why that is maybe when they were attaching them together they they were just using too much force I'm not sure but they hoist uh, hold nicely together and in a case they will snap off you can always cut them and glue them back on um, so that's very nice uh, lots of detailing as you can see um, lots of weathering effect applied so it's definitely a must for uh, for collectors and if you're the fan of the uh, aliens movie uh, for me it was the best of the all aliens movies so i was really really happy when i learned that NECA is gonna do the uh, power loader i hope they will do the armored vehicle as well probably not in scale because um, it would be huge if it was in a scale I'm not sure it would be great though but uh, I don't know um, so yeah that's that's about it I guess so if you have any questions please uh, 
do ask me on the section below or any comments um, I will do my best to answer your questions and um, until the next video review take it easy and thanks for watching